Hello everybody, Kevin here, Raptor94, and welcome back to the channel, and today, as you can see here guys, we're all going to be checking out Devotion, oh, Devotion, <laughs> uh, kind of pronounced that a little bit wrong there, but uh, I've been wanting to play this scary game for a long time, and uh, just a special notice about this game, uh, you cannot buy this game on Steam at the moment. Uh, there was some big controversial, uh, controversial thing going on between Taiwan and mainland China. I think they made like a reference to mainland China and this game got a lot of heat because of it. Uh, so because of that, you cannot get this game by normal means, but you can still buy the game. Uh, you, you will have to go directly to their website and buy it from them. And uh, I think the game was like, I don't know, like $20 plus the soundtrack bundle is like $25. So it's not really a bad price. So I would say why not, you know, buy it from them, supporting them directly. Uh, but other than that, I don't know too much about this game. Uh, I bought it a long time ago on Steam. I was going to play it, but didn't really get the chance to play it. Uh, but now that it is October, which means spooky time, so we're all going to be checking this game out and hopefully we poop our pants. And I believe this is the first Taiwanese horror ga uh, game I'm going to be checking out. And uh, not, not really too many Taiwanese horror games out there. This one is based in the 1980s and is based on some of the... Some of the true events that happened at that time period, I really don't know too much about the history of Taiwan at that time period, but I guess we're going to find out as we play this game. And I did debate it on either playing this game or Detention, which is made by the same developers, by the way, uh, but I have a feeling Devotion looks a lot more spookier, in my opinion, looks a lot more creepy, so we're going to be checking out this game first, and we might even check out Detention, but this is a, they are, it, there's another uh, Taiwanese horror game I do want to check out too, which is... Uh, the bridge, uh, the bridge road, curse to salvation, something like that. It's a very long name, by the way. I'll, I'll just call it the bridge curse, uh, for short. But yeah, that will probably be the second Taiwanese horror game I want to play because I don't know too much about Taiwanese history, uh, besides some of the basics and all that stuff. But I don't know too much about the culture, uh, the especially the folklore and the ho and some of the superstitious horror stories that uh, that goes on over there so like I said don't know too much about Taiwan other than that you know uh, there are a little small island and uh, <laughs> obviously with the current events going on uh, there are maybe in danger of being attacked by China but I highly doubt that's gonna happen but other than that uh, no political with, with the political stuff put aside uh, we're gonna check this game out and we're gonna make sure the volume is to the max and yep is to the max and that's the only option you get so uh we'll see how effective the jump scare is because it's been a long time since i play a scary game so hopefully this delivers and i think the game is in chinese uh, or mandarin so subtitles should be on by default so on that let's get this started like i said it's been a while so hopefully this game scares the shit out of me okay Okay, so we are in the game. Hmm. That's a big ass fish, by the way, right there. Okay. Yep, in Madrin. That's the native language here in Taiwan. As well as mainland China as well. I used to study Mandarin back in high school. Uh, pretty a uh, fun language to learn. Hard to write though. Extremely hard. Hmm. That's a little bit wonky. Hmm. That's a little bit wonky. Uh, but why is my vision getting wonky? Why is that door crack? Why is that, why is that door crack? Should make my webcam a little bit. Hello? They're a little bit wacky. 
Huh? Yeah, a little bit. What? Kind of losing my vision here a little bit. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. Either he got poisoned or something happened. Okay, this is where the spooky stuff's gonna happen, I think. Okay. So it looks like I'm playing as the husband. From the looks of it. Okay, I'm in a dark room. It's extremely dark. Oh wow, it's dark as hell. Okay, drawing done by Mei Shen. Li Fang's photo, solo photo, her Xin Pao dress helped establish her iconic image. And it looks like it's based, probably one of the developers, probably, or maybe it's actually a real picture, I'm not sure. Okay. It's pretty dark, that's for damn sure. Alright, uh, should I go this way? Big ass fish is still here. The wet aurora. A pet fish considered to bring luck and prosperity. Yep, still alive or wet. Hello! Wow, it's dark as balls. Kind of runs a little bit like ass. Let's check, let me check the frame rate real quick. NA, because this game is not officially. Okay, that's not creepy at all. And A, because this game is so unknown to NVIDIA. Let's turn that shit off. It is dark as... You motherfucker. Alright. We're played by you, Woos. Like I said, this is the first Taiwanese horror game. That I'll be playing, so... Hopefully you're impressed. I did play a Hong Kong horror game called Paranormal Hong Kong. Oh, Paranormal, uh, Paranormal HK. It was kind of goofy, but it was kind of fun to play. Should come back to play that, beat that game. Alright, here we go. Okay, I think I know the gist here. If you guys play PT, I think we're going to be going to a loop. That's my guess. Because this is definitely the exact same movie we're in. But it looks a little bit different. Okay. There's our pet. They were chilling out, so. Oh. Hmm. Nice. The other apartment's fire escape can be seen from the window. Get open the fridge. Alright. Can't really get through there. Alright, now at least we can see the picture better now with more light. Family portrait Mei Shin, Li Fang, and I. So Li Fang is our wife, I assume. And that's our kid, Mei Shin. And then there's me with my face, of course, blocked off. Of course. Oh, wow, that's... God of Dieter, uh. Ah. God of Dieter and Art Zero Ten Dao. Okay, I say I don't know how long this game is, but it's definitely going with the PT route. Okay, okay Shin room is locked. Okay, half room. Hey, 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 hey! Oh hell no! Do I really want to go in there? Yes, we do. All right. All right, no turning back now. So far, interesting. Let's see, I don't know too much about Taiwanese uh, horror. But anything I see red... Never a good thing. <laughs> it jumped me, but hey, we're good, so we're so good. Like I said, I haven't played a horror game in a while, so <laughs> time to get my time to get my get my reflexes in terms of my body movements up and running again. Okay, 
So this is how it's going to start up, I see. Mm. Let's go then. You're the monkey, 1980. Sub key, house key. Probably should have read that. Uh, what is the inventory? Okay. Uh, you're the monkey charm. Okay. You're the monkey, 1980. Okay, we gotta do the Resident Evil style. Okay. All right. So it looks like we might be going back in time. A craft uh, paper envelope delivered to yours truly. Screenwriter Dang Fang, uh, Du Fang Yu, episode one. Okay, so this is like a script. Okay, it's probably very important. Uh, but if you guys are work, you guys are welcome to read it. So I'm probably not going to be reading it. Fuck, we're just going to read the whole thing. So close up, the husband carries a potted up uh, plant over the, to the window and places on the still. Husband smiling. People say that tulips symbolizes elegance and sweetness, just like our child. And here's a wife's. Like you know, our child hasn't been uh, hasn't even been born yet. All right, let's finish organizing and get dinner ready. The flight isn't blooming anytime soon, so let's eat. Soup's getting cold. Close up, the, the couple arranged their new home together. They hang her paintings on the empty wall, set his metal on the cabinet, and place their china on the slaves, uh, on the sh uh, slaves uh, shelves. God, I can't speak English here. With a human touch, the empty about begins to feel more like home. After adjusting some furniture, the husband returns to the living hall and finds his wife waiting for him with a gift. Can't read that. Like I said, Madrin, easy to... Uh, fuck is that dark? Madrin is easy to speak. But extremely hard to write. Photo of Li Fang in her glory days, since of the film's crew adored the picture. The hang this out of uh, out of portrait out. I think she'd be pretty happy about it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take it away. Display cabinet. I have a feeling I'm gonna turn around. There's gonna be something watching over me. I don't like that, guys. Uh I'm a vampire confirmed. This this look like our house, but everything's not set up yet. Uh we got some bowls. Got a trophy. Best screenplay award. Another show to add to my proud uh, collection. So this looks like. Hmm, that looks freaking suspicious. Yeah, so it looks like everything is like. Okay, yeah, this one. Uh, bow. Okay. Lee Fang usually ready his dinners for us. No subtitles for that, unfortunately. Okay. This is where we put a display. No, that's just the mirror. All right, and this display. Okay, so this looks like uh, looks like we're going down the memory lane. Looks like, and this is the year nineteen eighty. So everything is just. Pretty much getting ready. What the hell? This detergent. Hammering on the label for conserved use. Okay. Da -ba -da -ba -da. So we need to find a way, uh, a room to display a portrait. 1980, Friday, August 8th. Why is this room so fucking dark? Turn on the damn light. Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's just make our way over here. So that's our little girl's room. Alright. Okay, there's more there. Why is there a hole right here? It's outside. Alright. So one thing, things are going to get super creepy. Or... Let's see. There we go. Everything is all Gucci. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is based on a real person or they use one of the developers' faces. Or is she actually a real uh, iconic figure back in 1980s Taiwan? I have no idea. Again, I'm a vampire. But she looks good though. She looks good. What the hell? Again, my face, not visible. 
All right, here's something out here. That's accommodation here. I'm going here, bathroom so close. It's a little girl room. Hello. Nothing here. That is loud. All right, there we go. What the hell? That's not good. Bring you back here. Okay. My heart is, my heart is wasting a little bit. So we do got a ballerina doll here. All right. Music is great. Not great for the not for the rap. Oh, hello. Uh, what kind of gift? All right, things are getting a little bit creepy now. What is that? Natural lighter? Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that is super dark. Yeah, let's keep that long, shall we? Present card, my dear Fang Yu. This is a lot you always wanted. You must be exhausted from all the unpacking. Get some rest. I want you to know that I will support you always. Happy Father's Day, you loving wife. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. That's our kid, I guess, when she was a little. Don't like that. Is that the indication that somebody's here? I'm not sure I want to go there yet. <laughs> and go to here. Okay, we're gonna have no choice. Is that uh, Tantong? I think I pronounced that right. Yeah, this place needs to uh, definitely some engineer to fix the light. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Okay, this fucking sucks. I don't like this one bit. All right, keep it, keep this in mind. I am playing this in the daytime. Uh, unfortunately, I can't play this at nighttime simply because my schedules with the work I have to work early in the morning. So that's why I'm playing this early in the morning. And I did got off from work pretty early too. So good opportunity here. House key, label 1986, year of the tiger. So it looks like the years are going by. Looks like 1986. Alright. Okay. Probably don't need the lighter. Okay. That's not that's not creepy at all. Here's our god of so now it is Sunday, July 27, 1986. Nice giraffe. <laughs> Hello. So I'm gonna assume that's me. There's our loving wife. Our kids room is open. I don't I don't like to look at this shit. School correspondent general uh, general. Homework chapter one Chinese vocabulary argumentic practice daily journal. Today I cleaned my room and daddy helped me put all my toes away. My room has a very big bed. I can play house on top of it. Teacher comment. You should try cleaning your room yourself. Teacher Chen Yi Jin. Quiz score. Vocabulary ninety five points back on it uh 97 point parent signature. Ooh. Is that good? I'm not sure. I don't like the fact everybody is like puppets and shit. Alright. Hello. There we go. There we go. 
It begins. It begins. <laughs> I knew you're gonna move. I didn't expect you to be there. That f keep that shit away from me. You keep that shit away from me. What is this gonna be? SCP? It's gonna keep following me. About that. Okay. See, that right there is an absolute no right there. All right. You stay in the kitchen, then. Hello. Where's my kid? Hey, 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 hey! Don't follow me. Small chair used when playing house. But where the hell is my kid? You stay in there. All right, it's our breaker. Atmosphere is heavy. Hashtag, I'm fucking out of here. Okay, let's get this stupid damn light up. Hello. There's me. There's our kid. Oh! I did not mean to take the doll, and I don't like the fact it is a... One of those dolls that can open their eyes. I did not like that one bit. Polaroid. I remember once owning a Polaroid camera. Lost it one day, so I bought a single lens camera. So I'm gonna assume this guy just had a heart attack or something, and he's going to all his past life events. Can we take this? No, we can't. But we got the doll of our kid. I think we gotta put it on the chair. That's my guess. Okay, I don't like the fact everybody's a puppet, so let's just get this. Sh let's get this shit over with. I don't like this one bit. Let me close this fucking door. <laughs> They're all looking at me. Okay. What are you guys doing here? Get the heck out of here. Got some crayons. Besides singing animation, also love doodling. I don't like that. Alright, I'm gonna get the fucking lighter on. <laughs> Piano. Okay. Birthday grab. Birthday grab is a ceremony performed for a baby who's reached one year of age. In ancient times, the chances of a baby dying young were high. It was rare to reach the age of one and so a cause for celebration. Therefore, in present time, to honor the ancestor and to anticipate a safe and healthy future for the baby, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, this ceremony has become an important custom. People believe that placing various items in front of the baby and seeing what it grabs can predict what type of career the baby will have in the future. Commonly used items in include a pen, ink, paper, emerald, and alchemist, garden tools, seals, etc. Other items include homophobic objects that correspond to careers or traits. Garlic sounds like calculate in Chinese and can represent an accounting career. Onion sounds like smart and can represent an inter uh, intellectual career. The direction of a child's development is a great significant to parents, especially in modern times. Parents expect a lot from a, ch a child's early educa education, and it is wise to co uh, collaborate the child's interests and expertise for a young age to develop a head start in his or her career. Uh, yep, that is true, and I don't like that. Don't like that everybody is inching in. They're looking at me. You stay the heck away from me. Oh my god, just get the fuck away from me. Who's in the bathroom? Don't like this one bit. Piano singer, Mr. Shen's uh, piano singing book. Alright, motherfuckers. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, <laughs> motherfuckers. Get the fuck away from me. We gotta go to piano. Okay. You better not fucking attack me, you bastards. Why are you standing? Okay, never mind. She's on the seat still. Alright, piano time. Where the fuck to go? Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, Mason. Happy birthday to you. Aww. It sounds nice, but this does not look nice. Hello? Birthday cake? Okay. Right, I'm gonna go over here. Hopefully I don't get attacked, which I might. Hello, Department of Agriculture. Right. Okay. What did I do with the birthday cake? Oh! I was wondering what the hell to do with it. Ballerina. Oi! Hey! I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't like that. Oh! 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 Oh. Hello! Shit! Came out of nowhere. Okay, that was not cool. Fish is not there. Hey, 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 hey. I want to watch TV. Is this actually based on an archive footage from uh, the 1980s of the talk show they have in China? Uh, almost say China. That would have been an insult. In Taiwan, I meant. It looks legit. It looks pretty vintage. I could be completely wrong. This could be like entirely new stuff they've recorded. TV is kind of fucked though. Don't like, don't like that. I wanna watch, no, we're not home. With that attitude, you can kiss, you can kiss my ass. All right, let's look around real quick. Hey, 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 hush, hush. No, let me look around real quick before we do anything. What the hell, that's not supposed to be there. Okay. Things are getting spicy, guys. All right. I'm coming. Oh, wow. I don't like how dark that is. 1986 Sunday. Hey, who's banging on that shit? Yep, PT. Going to PT style here, everybody. There's a lot of games out there that try to, you know, replicate PT, you know. Do I really want to go out there? Sounds like somebody walking in high heels down this hall. This is gonna suck. Hello? I'm gonna get fucked. One, one play. Oh, hold up, let's read this script. Birthday. Narration and so today, and so today, they celebrate the child's birthday as candle light the cozy room, the joy of family, and peaceful celebration. And there's the husband, my sweet child. What gift would you prefer? Father would get, grant you anything. Child, I am grateful, father, mother, but I do not wish for a gift. I just want our family to be mournful and content. Narration for the child, such an ordinary moment would be especially cherished. You'd like to know why. Must talk about that strange illness. Okay. Alright, let's go into the darkness. What the hell is this? That's not cool. Alright, I don't like I have to go to this long, dark hallway and there's some weird noises I'm hearing right behind me. Hey! Oh, it's green. Surgery? Uh oh, this is not good. Yeah, it looks like we're going down memory lane. 
House Key 1985. Okay. Year the ox charm. All right, they're yeah, definitely going down the memory lane. Looks like. Hello. TV is over here instead. It's, okay, TV is supposed to be right there. Okay. The freak is that noise? Some surgery mask. It's coming from my daughter's room. Newspaper. Note of injury or, uh, or illness to the parents greeting. Dear, dear student Du Mei Shen. Uh, pause, definitely breathing, set to school clinic. Actually taken an emergency transportation to the hospital. Message to parents. Further medical testing is advised as early as possible. After receiving the notice and seeking further medical attention, have the doctor fill out the reply form with the treatment provided. Return the reply slip to the school medical clinic so that way we may continue to provide the student with medical care. So it looks like our kid got sick. The, the just here. Let me just say real quick. Hey, 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 hey. My fish is still here hanging out. There's our lovely wife here looking fabulous. Okay. The wind and wind beat Ritless and the wind are like doing a typhoon. Yeah, it looks like it's absolutely fucked. Okay. You guys should keep an eye out for on the floor. All right. Let's go. Can't go in there. Wash hands before entering. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. Can I go in here? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. All right. Let's wash our hands. Probably be a little bit paranoid keeping that ladder on, but you know, maybe it's good to be paranoid. Ha! <laughs> oh, my hands are red. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Watch the mirror! Oh. That's not good. Yeah, I'm just tripping balls, buddy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like. The husband going to all his past life, essentially. Maybe that maybe there's some mistakes he made. I'm not entirely sure. Alright. Thank you all to here. Okay. This this wasn't darker, it was before. Hello. Okay. Daughter? You okay there, daughter? What the hell is going on here? I don't like that doll. Did it really put that many deedles on her? What the hell? That's kind of fuck. You know, this is like, you know, this is like literally a dream. Still a creepy looking dog, though. Uh, let's read the not diagnostic report. Uh, she's 10 years old. Symptom chest tightness, difficult breathing, medical order, patient x ray and blood work analysis is normal. No physical element reserve recommend. Recommend what? It just kind of cuts off from there. Okay, cut x ray film. Let's take that. Oh, it looks like we're in the hospital now. Parts of the hospital. Okay, this way is blocked. Ah, I see what you did there, game. You're reusing assets by using a very clever way. Interesting. I see. Okay. Like I said, I don't know how long this game is going to be. It might just be a one shot deal. Uh, protracted illness. Uh, child's room, night interior, close up. Candles illuminate the bed and the herbal tea remedy. Child quickly. Father, when we will go down into the big city? And there's the father. We cannot do that. Uh, we cannot do so under this troubling circumstances. Son, when your illness has passed, mother and I will take you anywhere you like. Father, the needles are painful. 
The treatment is unbearable. The husband pulls the uh, acupuncture needles out of his child. No more pain, no more pain. Father won't have you suffer any longer. The child, hot, tired from crying, drifts into sleep. And then here comes the wife. I was just going to work. It's been such a long time. My heart aches. And then got the husband. Set your mind at ease. I have another way. Okay. No, I'm, we're gonna assume something tragic is gonna happen with our kid here. Got a phone here. Doc is balls though. Any secrets here? Nope. All right. This we're gonna need to use this. Let's take a look at the X-ray. Oh boy, here we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Okay, 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 alright, alright, alright. So, right, this is gonna probably take a while. Never mind. Easy. <laughs> Easy shit. Alright, where we wanna put this at? The child? Where do we wanna put this at? Uh Yep, I knew it was gonna be on our daughter. What's that? Some sort of talisman. Get my goddamn light on. <laughs> Not sure what that means. Bad omens, I guess? I, I don't know. I don't know like I said, I don't know too much about Taiwanese culture. If you guys know about that, leave it in the comments down below. I'm mean, very curious. Alright, let's see who is calling. Hello? Department of Agriculture? I'm upstairs. Yeah, maybe you guys should invest in a on better lightning too, like fix you with breaker. What in the what in the shit? Alright, this is not creepy at all. Supposed to be a hospital, right? Hmm. Interesting. Yep, it's PT or right? I have a feeling somebody's like on my ass. What the hell is that? Da, da, da. Should I go up to that and stop it? Can't really, can't really do nothing about that. Just gotta go upstairs. Okay. Seeing some more of this red apparitions. Yeah. Can't really do nothing about them. They're kind of everywhere. And I have a feeling I'm going to be joining them. Oh, that is not cool. Not cool at all. Alright. Everything's red. Look at all this talisman. Is this. This has got to be some sort of talisman. Yeah, look at that. Talisman to block the bad entity out. There's a reason there's a lot of talisman everywhere. Look at this shit. What the hell is this shit? Definitely dealing with something uh, not cool here, that's for sure. Alright, we just gotta open the door, I guess. Oh! This is not good. We're definitely in... Somebody's cooking something good, by the way. <laughs> something caught my uh, smell, my attention. Uh, I guess we're just gonna sit down and just watch. Let's. Like I said, I don't know if this is based on an actual talk show that occurs back in the 80s. Okay, this has definitely got to be 
act and stuff made specifically for the game. But they just mentioned the character's name, so this is definitely new stuff. But they made it very old school. I like that. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure some of those people that you see in the screen are probably uh, game developers. Okay. I guess we're gonna sit down and. As soon as she's about to sing. Hey, 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 hey. Don't glitch out on me. Just as she's about to sing, the whole thing flip out. Are you kidding me, Dice? Okay, I guess we're going up there. Get a photo. Things are getting out of hand. Just like how Dr. Strange is it. It's, it's a kind of a shame to cut that scene out from Multiverse of Madness. What the fuck is going on with that reflection? Buddha? Ah! You tricked me! Ah! Oh! It's not near here! I'm getting choked to death here! Buddha! Oh! Yep! We are in a shit situation here. Hello? Was that our wife? She doesn't she doesn't look as good like she was before. Sort of like she got possessed. I don't like that. Dip into your memories. Oh Yeah, we might just do this whole game in one go. I'll say screw it. I have a feeling this game. Might not be that long. It could be. I could be completely wrong here. Oh, May, is that you, May? Okay, we can't sprint. Ooh, that's not good. Got multiple direction here, huh? There used to be an article here, but it's been torn off. Looks like we're gonna have to put some of those uh, back together. Looks like, and we got more here as well. Uh, yeah, we got like maybe uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine uh, papers we gotta look for. No, three. Oh, wow, that's a lot, actually. Holy shit! All right, I, I did have a feeling this is this is where the game truly starts. And go to here. I saw the I saw my daughter right in here. Excuse me. Don't you disrespect me. What does that say? Subtitles. Okay, there we go. Collect the fragments of the past, traverse into a flawless present. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to find every bit of this stuff here, as you can see here. Whoa! Okay, so we got multiple options. 1986, 85, and then 80. Let's go with the earliest of the year. Go with 1980. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is definitely probably one of those walking simulator games where you might not have to hide from creatures and stuff. I could be completely wrong here, everybody. Oh, thank you, Mr. Porter, guys. Cookie gift box. Traditional cookie box with a fortunate design. And it does look pretty nice. Okay. The game does look nice though, not gonna lie. Ah. Get this shit out of my way. Get this shit out of my way. A table set with Manjong tiles, essential entertainment for families and friends. Manjong is pretty much Chinese uh, chess or checkers. Not, I have absolutely no idea how that shit works, but... Yeah, that's pretty much the poker in back in China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, you name it. Various prayer offerings and item layout for a house home guardian ceremony. Can I knock this out? Nope, I cannot. Hello? Who the hell is cooking? Wife notes, a wife's notes and to do list. Ugh. 
Though Jade Amber Duty assigns a pair of household guardians, a husband and a wife, demigod couple, to watch over a family's home. Before moving in, a welcoming ceremony must be performed for the guardians to ensure a family's health, fortune, and peace. 5 a.m. Buy the market fish, chicken, pork belly, bleach, sweet rice balls, radish, sim of luck, soda, rice cake, red emeralds, incense, uh, spirit money, liquor, Wine, uh, rice wine, three cups filled with four fives uh, of the way. Apples for guests, pine uh, pineapple for ceremony use. 7 a.m. Clean spray, yin yang water, attached red paper to fortune, spread coins in room corners, put tokens, water jugs, set up manjang, prepare oolong tea for aunt, white tea for uncle, herbal tree, uh, tea for grandma. Make sweet uh, rice ball for guests, buy all new cookie, uh, cooking essentials, must have finished by afternoon. Hey, hey. My vision is wonky. Okay, we're good, I think. I think I'm kind of going down the memory lane here. Well, it looks like everything's been. Looks like everything's. Can't see shit. Can't see shit. <laughs> All right. Can't get that on. Friday, August eighth, nineteen eighty. So I'm gonna assume this is uh when we got married. I think. Excuse me. All right. I'm gonna keep the light. What the fuck is up with this weird effect going on? Alright. Combination. Leave Fang's red, uh, red dancing shoes. I guess we'll take that. Letter from wife's friend to Lee Fang. Are you doing well? I am glad to receive your letter. Your friends in the business were standing to hear of your decision to leave the movie industry. Remember, when we were younger, us showbiz sisters made a promise to fly high together. But after you saw that family, reality cut that dream short. As your good friend, I understand your predicament and I can't help but guess that your family's decision to sell their ancestral home must mainly be a temporary refix to a deeper problem. Please remember that we will always support you no matter what you do. You are welcome to come back to us at any time and we wish you and your family's uh, peace and prosperity. Okay, that is one. Find your record. The title track of the album is Later to Appear. It is the theme song for Lee's fan breakout movie. Okay, I guess I'm gonna pick to the the hole, I guess. Okay, that's me. Okay, that's me. Jump scare imminent. Hey. Dad is looking. We're looking pretty frustrated here. Yeah, he's getting pretty fucking crazy. He's gonna. Okay, yeah. I have a feeling we're all going to flip out. Yeah, he. We're not. We're not looking. We're not looking good. Nice jump scare attempt failed. Jump scare failed. Okay. So it looks like we were having some issues with our life as well. Okay, what's this say? This is my secret hideout. The password is on my favorite picture. Um, hold up here. We don't got the picture. Why? It Dice? Why is that fucking dark as hell? Shining star Kiki. Connect dots. Kiki has a crown, shoes, and red dress. Ready to shine on sage. Okay, we gotta find her favorite picture. Find the secrets. Because I don't know the number. 
That's a, so we got to go to your room, I think. All right. I'm seeing that weird effect, so. Baby strange. We might have to go to your room. Ah. Okay, this is dark. Ooh, this is creepy as hell. Don't like this. Flower pot note. You turn my deepest misery into a comforting flower. Uh-oh. Flower pot. Okay, nothing we can do here. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just testing out random things. All right, we got to go in here, looks like. Things is going to escalate, looks like. No. Oh. Tales of Xin Zhu, Gong Yang, Spirit Serpent. According to legend, it happened in a small village in southern uh, Fujian. There once lived a poor farmer whose son was too fat to work in the fields and said he was sent to a Buddhist temple to train as a novice monk. Gradually, he became stronger and occasionally journeyed home to assist his father tend to the crops. One day, while working in the fields, they came upon a massive striped snake. Apprehensive at first, they approached it slowly. But soon came to understand that it bared them no malice. It would drive away pests like insects and mice, guaranteeing the farmer good harvest for many successive years. So I've seen this weird mirage effect, though. All right, we gotta find that picture, and we gotta open that uh, that secret. Uh, this looks like what some more articles here. Letter from an old friend. Your screenplay. The, the Lives I've Lived has been rejected by six directors. May I suggest you uh, drop that fruitless obsession and seriously consider coming out with a new script? If any offense has been taken, I beg your forgiveness. Wish you the very best, your friend, Ding Hoi Di. Okay, so... Looks like she tried to get back into the movie industry. And doesn't seem like it's working. Huh? <gasps> the camera. Do we got the camera still? I don't got the camera anymore. Hello. Mm. So, do we have to come back to some of this area and get and get all the items that we need? So, that's my guess. I gotta be missing something here. I think we have to literally come back here. I think that's the guess here. I'm going to assume so. I'm going to double check real quick. Making sure I don't miss anything because I think we might have to come back here, guys. Can't go in here. Hmm. What would be her favorite picture that has the numbers? Hmm. Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Uh, connect the dots. Wait a minute. So is this is this going to be our combination key? Hold up here. Yeah, it's got it. It has to be. Okay, so okay, okay, okay. So we're going to have to connect the dots and determine. So crowns, shoes, and red dress. Hmm. So we got 16, 17, 18, and 12. Or 1, 17, 12. Uh. 
Okay, we got. I'm, 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 I must be stupid here. <laughs> so she has a crown, shoes, and red dress. So it's definitely not 1712. Okay, so I'm going to have to assume we can go because I I look up all the guides and uh, found nothing. So I'm going to assume we have to backtrack. That's my guess, and that's not cool. That is not cool, and looks like as we get more papers, we get more shit, which is not bad. So yeah, we're still missing one and two, looks like, in 1980. Surprise single retires from spotlight to devote a uh, life to family. Gong Li Fan says farewell to entertainment business, which is pretty true back in the 80s and 70s. You get a lot, you know, a lot of big name actors and actresses, and then uh, when they, you know, get married and settle down, they're pretty much done with the acting, essentially. And that could be, you know, that could be positive or negative impact on their life, so... Uh, it's kind of fifty-fifty in a way. Uh, some of them, they don't know, they they don't act for like you know maybe ten, fifteen years in a comeback, and some don't even come back at all. Okay, which movie? The, 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 the flattering feathers premieres on the big screen, panned by critics nationwide for being extremely anticlimactic and having a poor script. That is not good. All right, so I guess we are going to nineteen eighty-five because we all got the backtrack. Looks like. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. So I was a little bit confused, but I was looking at some guides, and the game pretty much tells you just go to go to Pacific Doors if you can, you know, if you got everything essentially. So we're going 1985. Whoa! What in the sh? What in the shit? Turn on the damn lights. Uh, Ashian travel guide. Okay. Mei Shen's been stuck in a room since we, Mei Shen's been stuck in a room since we can't go on our trip anymore. Can you go and read Mei Shen her favorite storybook? I will. Hello. Light that up. I don't like it how everything. Lock suitcase with a lot of talisman. Oh, good dogs. Jump scare imminent, everybody. So far, I am liking this game. Uh, definitely has the, at the creepy atmosphere. Doesn't rely too much on jump scare. Jump scare kind of comes out of nowhere and surprises you, which how it should be done. Let's light up all these candles just for safe measure. There's our fish boy here, just chilling. Let's go to the kitchen. So pretty fuck. Wine blue doodles drawn by Mei Shen based on my wine poem. Shoes, a crown, and a red dress are the basic elements of a superstar. Pretty windy out there. Hello. Poem attached to wine pot. My beloved child, this wine will follow you sweet and ripe. We're in the pot, mother's dream blessing. Wishing you silhouette embraced by silk, wishing your hair illuminated by stars, wishing you step admired by all. As I await patiently, uh, let me mold you into a lustrous uh, jewel. Okay. Can't really do nothing about this. Alright. Hello. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why everything's getting a little bit wonky and wonk wonks. Can't okay, unlock that at the moment. All right. Hello. Hello. May. You know right? Essay. My family. Ninety five. Good job, May. Uh, there are three people in my family: my father, my mother, and I. My mother is a housewife who likes to sing while she is cooking. My mother used to be a famous star. Every song she sings sounds perfect. My father is a screenwriter. He writes a lot of words every day. He often works late and I can't bother him when he works or my brother will scold me. Although, I, although I'm sick and can't go to school often, mom and dad always take, me, uh, take care of me at home. My mom, say, my mom say if I get better, I'll be able to play outside more often. 
I love my, my mommy and daddy. I wish for us to have a healthy living life. So, okay, so the dad is a screenwriter. That's what he's been doing all day. And looks like his his recent movie is kind of kind of just, and that's why I think he's kind of stressing out in a way. And like I said, maybe that will probably negatively impact his family uh, in the future. Like I said, we're going through all this stuff here. Hey, to me. Can't really do nothing much about me here, as in Burping Hot Dogs. Excuse me? How the hell you end up right there? More this voodoo bullshit here that I don't like seeing. Okay. I'm getting used to, to the more of the game. It's not giving me the, the scares as I hoped for, but regardless, we're gonna continue our playthrough. Gotta keep watch the damn ceiling. Tell us, uh, Singu Golden Ying, the sacrifice. However, nothing good lasts for one year. The novice monk suddenly fell victim to an illness. It ravaged his body and soul. He could not eat for days. His health declined rapidly, but the village doctors were stumped. The farmer could not do nothing but worry endlessly. At this time, the snake abruptly appeared and said to the farmer, I am a serpent spirit, a thousand years of age. Since your child's birth, I have witnessed his resolve, his great sense of duty and fire pity. His uh, virtuousness outshines even my own. Let me help him do this troublesome bout. He my insertion, my flesh and blood, Brew into a medicine vine shall remedy his condition instantly. The great spirit, uh, spirit serpent delivers a fatal bite unto himself, often inspired to the ever grateful farmer. Wow. Okay. What the freaking uh, noble snake? Snake's like, hey, I've been watching you guys, and you guys have been doing good. Let me help you. Again, my face has been up. Hey, 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 hey! Enough with the rattle in the windows here. Okay. Let's go. Alright, I'm hearing a lot of weird fucking weird noises. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay. Go back to the kitchen, I guess. Like that. Hey, who the fuck blow my goddamn candles, you dick bag? Stop that. Jump scare imminent, guys. Hey, am I missing anything here? You son of a bitch. School co uh, correspondent journal. Thursday, June 13, 1985. It's at home. The same stuff keeps playing on TV, but I'm sick, so I can't go to school. I have been to so many doctors, but I'm still not feeling well. I have to write my journal because my classmate do too. 14th, uh, June, 1985. Today, I have to feed daddy's uh, rumor fish. It must, be a, it must have been sad being stuck in this fish tank. Just like me in my house. So it looks like she's getting a little bit reckless. Okay. The fuck? A bottle label, a button label, Doi Mei Shen. Window, Mei Shen, wardrobe. Button label, button label, take pills, Mei Shen 4. Must go out and play, must go. Okay, yeah, she's losing her mind. <laughs> That's what's, what's really going on here, everybody. Luggage, May, television. The hell? Alarm clock. Major door. Alright. Okay, it looks like we are. Yeah, she's gonna. Uh oh. I don't like where this is going, everybody. Door. 
Well, we did got the tickets, though, right? The ticket was there in 85. Yeah, looks like we're doing this at a point where... Okay, here she comes. So this is going to be her dots, I guess. Wow. Wow. That's not good. What does that say? Disease prevention is a civic duty. The Department of Health caring for the public. Yeah. So I assume something really bad happened, I assume. And that's how everything... I'm gonna assume that's how everything gets out of hand. And uh, why there... This is where things are gonna get freaking crazy, I think. Okay. What the fuck is that right there behind me? Oh. Got me coming in. Okay, marble key. We might know the key combination right here. Potentially. Just to hit it under the bed. That's our clue. We might have to go to 86 potentially on that. Who the fuck is breathing my goddamn ears? Whoa! You doing? Don't, don't kill that fish. I oh! oh. What in the hell? Pills! Pills! Okay. The fish! Oh! I just pulled this poor fish's eye. I just murdered the fish! No! <laughs> I know, I know, I know. This is probably not real. But whip, Mr. Fish. Absolutely whip. I just murdered a poor fish, guys. I don't like that. Okay, do we put the marble in here? Nope. Yeah, let's put the shield in it. Oh! Okay, I put the shields in there. Can't put that in there. Okay. Just murder this poor fish, everybody. Oh, hello. Journal 3. Saturday, June 15, 1985. It's the weekend. Dad said that if I took my medicine, he would take me out to play. But he was lying again. I really took my medicine. I was good today, but mom and dad still lied to me. Sunday, June 16. Dad bought a bunch of vitamins, but I don't want to take any. It doesn't make me better. We were supposed to go out and play, but we didn't. Daddy always lies. I don't want any vitamins. It doesn't make me better. We were supposed to go out and play, but we didn't. Dad always goddamn lies. I won't take it anymore. I won't, I won't, I won't. It looks like our kid is losing. You get, you get, you get down there, May. You get down from there. 